In this video, we will learn how to align objects, and we're going to use this bar graph as an example. So let's start aligning this y-axis title. I'm going to click on the title. I'm going to do the center paragraph align. And then I'm going to hold the shift key. And with my left mouse button, I'm going to click on this axis here. And then I'm going to do the vertical align center. And notice how both objects are moving. And that's definitely not what we want to do. So I'm going to hold Control and press Z to undo what I just did. Now, important thing is I want to click again with my left mouse button onto the axis. That makes this a key object, which means this object is going to stay stationary while everything else that I've selected moves. So I'm going, so I have this object going to move to align with this blue object here. So I'm going to click on vertical align center and that aligns this text with this axis. The next thing I'm going to do is align this, um, these numbers correctly. I actually like to replace this two with a 2.0, but just for the case of alignment here, I'm going to um, not make that change. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I'm going to use my left mouse button to select all of these objects. Okay. And then I'm going to do right align. Okay. So it aligns everything on the right edge. Okay. And then I'm going to click align. And if you don't see this menu of this tool on the right, go up to window and click on align. And then I'm going to click align to the right. Okay. That, sh that didn't really change anything. Um, but it's important to just make sure that you do that because some things may be slightly misaligned whenever you do the uh, right align to the paragraph. Okay. So I'm going to click, I'm going to use my arrow key to move this over close to the tick marks. Now you see these tick marks are not quite, they don't quite meet up with this, this y-axis. So to do that, actually what I'm going to do is most of the time when you export it in from an Excel spreadsheet and move it here, um, this y-axis is separate from the x-axis. But if it's not, use a scissors key right here and go all the way down here to this anchor and click on it. That separates out these two axes. What I want you to do is close this edge, and to do that is select both of these axes here, go up to Stroke, and have it extend the cap. Click away, and then now that makes this a continuous edge. Now I'm going to select these tick marks, and then I'm going to hold the Shift key, and with my left mouse button, click on this Y axis. I'm going to click again to make this the key object, and then I'm going to align to the right. Now that moves those tick marks to align with the Y axis. Okay, so now I'm going to align these bar graphs. I'm going to, let me select this one on the right. I'm just going to move it over to the left a little bit so that the, the what X axis extends beyond the bar graph. Now I'm going to select these three bars and I'm going to click on horizontal distribute center. Okay. So that distributes everything evenly so that the spaces are equal. I'm going to click to the left arrow to align, to center it along the X axis. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing by holding this. I'm going to click on this object, hold the shift key, click on this object, and then hold the shift key and click on this object. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to horizontal distribute center. And then I'm going to click the left mouse button until I center it. If you want it to be exact, which I recommend that you do, hold the control key and press G. That will group these three objects. And then select the three bar graphs, hold the control and press G. That'll group the bar graphs. Then I want you to select all both of those groups and then click center align. That just makes sure that these, these error bars are in the exact center of these bar graphs.
And then you right click and then you click on group. So now that each object is selected individually. Another way of doing it would be to simply select these, the bar graph and the error bars and then click again on the bar graph and then center align. That will also work. Okay, so now let's work with these text here. Click on the vehicle and notice that it's aligned to the left. We don't want that. We want this to be aligned to the center, the paragraph. We want the paragraph to be aligned to the center. So I'm gonna select all these text objects and align to the center, okay? Text that you want to be center aligned, like right under a bar, on a bar graph, for instance, you want them to be, the paragraph to be center aligned as well. These text objects on the y-axis, you want them to be aligned to the right. So you want to align the text to the right. Keep the paragraph alignment consistent with how you want the text object to be aligned. Okay, so let's move this vehicle back to be aligned with this bar graph. Just hold shift and then select again that uh, bar graph and then center align. Do the same thing with this cure not drug. Hold shift and click again. Click that to so make the key object and then center align. Okay, now I want to select these text objects and then I want to go over to the align menu and horizontal distribute center and then um, center align. Okay. Now we have a, one last discrepancy here and there is a gap between the bottom of this bar graph and the bottom axis. Okay. Now, usually this doesn't happen. I don't think I've ever seen this happen whenever I'm transferring graphs from Excel or MATLAB into Illustrator. So if you see this, my first guess is that somehow whenever you were working with this graph, you might have accidentally moved one or more of these bars. Okay, so you might have had all of these selected to maybe change their color and then maybe accidentally, you know, moved it whenever you're trying to mess with some other object, okay? So if that were to happen, what I recommend is actually going back to the plotting program, regenerating or recopying that figure and pasting it back into Illustrator. Because if you were to realign these objects, you know, selecting these and then clicking again on the x-axis and then doing the line to bottom, you change the value of the bar graph. So that's not ideal. So make sure that you haven't accidentally misaligned. But if you know for a fact, guaranteed that the top of this bar graph is exactly the right data value, then the way to change the bottom would be use the direct selection tool. Select these, all the points on the bottom here. So notice how these are dark squares and this is light square. You might not see because of the resolution of the screen, but these are all dark blue. And then I want you to hold the shift key with, and then with the left mouse button, click on this anchor. You can either click on this anchor or the anchor over here. Okay. And then, then click align to bottom. Now, I don't have to make this a key object because this point is the bottom most point of all of the other points. So this point's not going to move at all. Only the other ones are going to. So if I click bottom align, then that will bring those bottom, uh, the, the bottom of the bar graphs to that uh, anchor point. You click away. And then I want this this bottom axis to be above the bars. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on that object, arrange and bring to front. Okay, so that's how you align it to the bottom. But again, if you see that gap, I would be, I would be worried that somehow these bars got moved and, um, inadvertently. But that is how you align all of the text on this bar graph.